The numbers. How many threes did you take this season? Do you, do you know the number? I don't know the exact number, but I know it's it's the Oakland record. I think it's like 367 maybe. I think, yeah, 364. And then over the last couple weeks, how many NIL deals have you picked up? <laughs> I don't want the money because I'm not yeah, no, counting no, another man's you, money. The you, amount of, yeah. um, maybe 10 to 12, something like that. I don't know the exact number. And then, you know, the corny number is just one unforgettable journey. It, just, just wrap your head around all of this. Uh, have you taken a moment to take a deep breath and just think, oh, my gosh, what did I just do? Yeah, in the last couple of days, I've, I've had a little more time. Like when we got back Sunday and Monday, I was, I was still swamped. I mean, I've been pretty busy, but uh, yesterday, uh, kind of the middle of the day I had a couple free hours and I was I started to like watch some highlights and stuff like that and I was getting goosebumps just watching them and kind of just getting that feeling back of being in that atmosphere I mean that that arena was tremendous the support that they were showing us was was awesome and uh, it just a tremendous experience one that I'll never forget and I hope I always can watch those highlights and, and get those goosebumps back I don't mean to be disrespectful but I have to imagine you had a few classes while you were here <laughs> where nobody really recognized oh, that you're yeah. on the basketball team. Is that true, and how much has that changed? <laughs> no, that's definitely true, that's, and that's not disrespectful <laughs> at all. Um, it, it's weird, man, because, like, it, it was only really a week ago, and, and um, I'm the same. I feel like I'm just a normal guy. I'm the same guy, but, yeah, everyone's recognizing me. It wants to take pictures and stuff like that, and, and it's cool. Um, for me, I feel like if, if I can make someone's day by taking a picture with them or something that, as simple for me as that, like, I, I would love to do it. So, yeah, it's, it's cool. Looking back on all of this 10, 15, 20 years from now, you can't gain that wisdom until you've gone through it. Yep. But you know, I'm sure you've been asked, how many text messages did you have? I just asked you how many NIL deals did you have? But are there moments that were really authentic that maybe caught you while it was going on where you didn't even need to hold on, I need to take time, but it just hit you so hard? There was one in particular that I'll never forget was uh, in the first game, I, I, first half I had made maybe seven threes or something like that. I don't know what the exact number was, but second half I come out, and then every time I touch the ball, the crowd, I, I never really noticed the crowd in basketball games just because I'm so locked in. Yeah. But I, I started to notice every time I touch the ball, the crowd just collectively gasps. And like the air in the arena, just like everyone inhaled. And I shoot it. And if I make it, that place just went crazy. And I had never felt anything like that before. Like it wasn't even a home game. It was just really cool. that. And I, I was trying to take that in in the moment. Like this is this is a special experience. I know everybody, you know, once you get a feeling of that, I'm sure you're going to try to get it for the rest oh, of your yeah. life. You've created so many opportunities for yourself. And you know in, in basketball better than anybody, if you can hit threes, you got a future, man. Yeah. How many opportunities do you think you've opened up for yourself professionally and potential NBA outlets yeah. already reached out? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing like some workouts and things like that in the in the pre-draft process and just go through that that whole situation. Um, obviously, I don't I don't expect to be a, a high draft pick or anything like that, but I'm gonna work work as hard as I can this summer and and try to create some opportunities for myself. And even if they don't come this year, I'm gonna. Uh, then I'm going to go play overseas and, and do my best there and try to try to come back at some point and, and make something happen. Greg Campy has put together rosters over the years, mm -hmm. and he said preseason before, I like our roster, I like our group. Yeah. There was something different about oh, the yeah. way he talked about you guys this year. Could you all feel it? We could definitely feel it because um, obviously we have an older team and we've all played college basketball for multiple years and, and experienced different teams and how they, how they fit together, and this team was just so cohesive. Uh, after that Italy trip, we were just so locked in with each other that uh, we knew we had the talent. But as soon as we realized, like, hey, every guy's really just out here for the guy next to him, there was no egos, nothing like that. And that's really rare uh, these days in sports. And, and to have that and, and Coach Campy and, and the rest of our coaches backing us up, we all knew this was going to be special, and we just had to capitalize on the opportunities that we got. You guys have, are so good at sharing the spotlight. And, and Trey had his big game, the Horizon League Championship. Yeah. He mentions you. He mentions Blake. And, gave me a, a, you know, a huge list of different guys that stepped up to make him feel like he was hot. Um, what's it been like to see a guy like that that grew up in this program have his moment as well? Just so cool. I feel very fortunate to have gotten to know him over this year and, and got pretty close with him. Uh, I would definitely consider him one of my close friends. And, and to learn his story throughout this year and, and to see like even the country learning his story in the yeah. past week has been super cool because it's a tremendous story. and. Uh, I mean, the more we look back on it, we just say it's, it's almost a Disney movie, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. And, and something like that, we were saying, man, like we wish we would have won a couple more games because then they, they really might have made a movie out of it. But um, he, he deserves nothing but the best, and uh, he's going to have tremendous success going forward with his basketball career when he takes it professionally. And, and I'm just excited to watch him, and, and hopefully uh, 
we can stay in touch and, and maybe even play together sometime down the line. Who plays you in the movie? <laughs> well, on my, uh, on my page, on my bio at the beginning of the year, I said Bradley Cooper. I've gotten a lot of crap for that, but I mean, he's a great actor. Um, I've heard Chandler Bing from Friends. I can't remember what his name is, Matthew. I'm not sure what his real name is, but RIP Matthew Perry. Yeah. Um, when you look at this whole thing and you step back and you go to class now and you're recognized, you got friends that are going to take off. What do you imagine reunions are going to be like 5, 10, 20 years from now? I, I, I'm not going to lie, I'm so excited for the reunions, <laughs> man. They're going to be so much fun. Just getting this group back together. Um, everything Coach Campy says about his past teams that get together is uh, you might you might be out of touch for a little while, but as soon as you get back here and you see each other, it's, it's like you never left. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited for that to, to come back and meet the fans again and, and then just to hang out and chop it up with the guys and, and just talk stories. That, that's what's always fun. Keep shooting, dude. Thanks for the Appreciate time. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Yeah.